You've got a date with Naomi Foreman. So? Well, you know, she's an actress. She's, she's stunning. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Oh, she's in the, you know, she's all of those films with her in the, um, in the desert, you know, with the, uh, with the sand dunes and the, uh, you know, the low cut bra thing. <laughs> with him, you know, what's his name? Ah, uh, uh, Rudolph Valentino. <laughs> <laughs> So, that makes her a minimum of 103. <laughs> She's probably had a lot done to her. If you'd like to wait here, Miss Foreman will be with you in a moment. Thanks very much. Ah, hello, Miss Foreman. So, tell me, can you remember what you were doing the day President Lincoln was assassinated? Hi. Hi. <clears throat> Grandma used to show me all her old films. I'd see her up there on the screen with Valentino, and I'd think, oh, I want to be part of this, you know? Wow. So were, were you named after her? Oh, no, no, no. I was named after my great-great-great-grandmother, who was the original Naomi. Actually, everyone in my family is called Naomi, including most of the men. <laughs> <laughs> We're a dynasty, you know, strictly speaking. I am Naomi Foreman, the ninth. <laughs> well, so, so, so it's like love story, you know, where, where, where she says, I didn't know you were Oliver Hamilton the <laughs> fourth. Oh, yeah. oh, what about that bit where she says, um, I don't just love you, Oliver. Yeah. I love you very much, Oliver. Yes, yes, that's right. Oh, what's the other one? Um, um, what is it you want from me? What, what you, you can't, can't give me? Time. time. <laughs> terrible? It was awful, absolutely awful. I cried my eyes out. Yeah, me too. You know, you're not like the guys they normally send. How come? Well, you haven't mentioned your hair, Ollie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's because the sides are holding really well. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you, uh, you should talk to Huey Wheatley Palmer St. John Stevens about it, because he had a complete bastard fringe for yonks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a lovely evening. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, I've really enjoyed your company, and it's been a delightful end to my stay in London. Well, I'm very pleased you enjoyed yourself. So, why don't we move next door? <laughs> right. Uh, can, can, uh, can I just uh, clarify something? That's, that's next door, not in the sense of the lift, but, but, but in the sense of... The bedroom. The bedroom, right. Ah. <laughs> I know it's not the kind of thing you guys usually do. I, I know the agency's very respectable and all, but uh, I find you very attractive, and I think you find me attractive. <laughs> uh, y yes, it's, it's interesting, this, you know, whole attraction thing, you know. Um, <laughs> you don't find me attractive? Oh, no, no, I do, I do. G gosh, you know. <laughs> it's just tremendous, but... Uh, <laughs> so? Well... <laughs> the, the thing is, I'm, I'm actually in a relationship. Well, well, I, I say in a relationship. I'm, I'm actually sort of halfway on the way to being part of the way... In, <laughs> In, in, into a sort of potential possible relationship, perhaps. <laughs> nice to be down here, Svetlana. <laughs> My name is Simon, and I... <coughs> and, and so that's why it's... It's just impossible for me to say yes. Will you get it together for me? Will you? <laughs>
Well, I'd very much like to, yes. Oh, good. Then go to her now. Right. <laughs> thanks very much, and, and, and thanks for a, a lovely evening. Have a nice life. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> Hi, Svetlana. My name's Simon, and I live in Ealing. And hey, what else is there to say except... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this for? Well, I just, I just wanted to say sorry about the mess up at the opera the other evening and uh, if anything, if anything uh, I did seem a bit odd then, um, well, if it, if it did seem odd then, it, it did seem odd, didn't it? <laughs> well, it did seem a bit odd but then I thought it was odd for me to find it odd because it's not as if we're... No, no, of course, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, La Boheme. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Well, I just wanted to, you know, clear, clear up any... Confusion? Confusion, yeah. Confusion, yeah. I know. I, I hate confusion. Oh, me too. Me too. Because it's like, you know, when, when two people talk, but they don't really, you know... What? <laughs> what? What did you mean? Oh, sorry. It's, no, I mean, you know, when people are talking at, at, at cross Each purposes. Other. Each cross other. Cross purposes. Yeah. <laughs> I had a boyfriend. You've got a boyfriend? What? Sorry, you, 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 said, you, you said you've got a boyfriend. No, 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 I had a boyfriend. Oh, you had a boyfriend, you had a boyfriend. Oh, that's <laughs> smashing. That's... Anyway, it used to drive me mad. Mm, mm, mm. Because he would never say what he wanted or felt or anything. Mm, mm. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I think he'd do anything rather than talk. Mm, mm. <laughs> We uh, listen to the CD. Has she got one answer? No! <laughs> Who hasn't got one what? Natalie hasn't got a boyfriend! Fantastic, now shut up. And so, which lucky man did Svetlana choose to meet? Oh, no, come on, no, 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 this is important! <laughs> After scouring the 37 video messages... Come on! Svetlana at last came to a decision about the man she wanted to be Mr. Svetlana. Yeah. Come on, baby, women for each other. <laughs> it was a very difficult decision, and she had to turn down a lot of gorgeous fellas on the way. Get on with it! So here is the winning video. Hello, Svetlana. My name's Terry. 